Hello everyone. I uh, hope we're all doing well. So I would like us to also do uh, uh, a breakdown on uh, synthetic indices. And uh, these ones are becoming so popular. And if you really trade them and you master the skill, uh, it really could be profitable. And also that uh, the advantage they have is that uh, they operate 24-7, meaning you can also trade them over the weekends, right? But uh, a disadvantage on the other hand is that uh, uh, only one broker does offer them, right? I'll leave the link in the description. That's a disadvantage according to the way I see it, but uh, price action is the same. Anything that has candlesticks is the same according to our approach. Of course, we're going to be doing top-down analysis because that's our approach or what we call multi-time frame analysis. And I'm going to be going through a couple of uh, examples so that you can make a lot of sense out of it and get value. So this is V51S. Uh, I'm just going to do a few examples of one of the most common traded things. So if you see my charts, these are the exact charts that I use. That's why you see even uh, most of these things are still there. These are old analyses. So I'm just going to share with you. Those that I interact with in the, privately, at least you know all these uh, setups that you're going to be looking at here. So I'm just going to start from scratch so that you can see how I do my top-down analysis. So as usual, I normally start from the monthly time. Frame. Now, if you start from the monthly time, frame, you can clearly see that this has been a very aggressive drop. We spoke about this V50 when we are still up here. There are records on our channel here. Uh, someone may be saying, uh, you're just speaking. There are records. We spoke about it when it was up here and we've been following. Though we made a breakdown here expecting a small pullback, which didn't happen. So there was no actually setup for that. Right? There was no trade on that. But uh, so if you trade V51S, uh, what could you be looking out for after this aggressive drop? Of course, we expect a retracement, but it won't just happen like that. So the monthly time frame where I'm getting from direction, what do I observe? I observe that there's this level that was broken and there's a possibility the market may be uh, interested in giving us a pullback, at least to that level, right? Before deciding any other thing. So right now I'm looking for a push above. Now, when I go down the structure time frame, this is my structure time frame, but I'm not saying you should also use the same structure time frame. Right. So when I come to the structure time frame, remember the ultimatum level that was broken here was this one here. But we have hidden structures in weekly here, meaning that there's a possibility price may not actually reach up there. Right. So uh it may reach or it may find a threat along the way. So when I come to the weekly time frame, if you want to see it properly, you can go to the line chart. So when you see the line chart, I have this level here. So I'll just mark this area here so that. Uh, is that I'm going to be focusing on as my target, right? So I know that I have a threat around here. So even if I'm trading, I know that the price could touch here or it may not, but there's a threat here. And whenever there's a threat price uh, that could affect price, it usually uh, bothers traders because sometimes we end up losing profits that we have made or we end up uh, uh, panicking and closing few profits or even the, the market reversing without our knowledge, then we hit even stop loss, right? So weekly is agreeing that we have a structure above that the market may need to retest it. Now, when we go down the delay time frame, what do we observe? Now, if you observe the delay time frame, the market has really massively been making lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, aggressive push down. And also along the way, we had a hidden structure here where we're approaching actually. So where we're approaching, uh, we have a structure that is hidden, then continue making lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. Then finally, the market has closed above this high here. Let me just mark it for us. The market broke this high, but currently we're approaching a hidden structure that we have seen around here, right? So I'm just going to mark it. Now, we've already mapped out all our structures. Now, these are the levels that we're going to be trading within. Are we together? So what is left is just for us to observe in smaller time frames. I know my love using H4. So when I come to H4, there's a possibility that we're going to see a pullback here right before continuing or the market could first hit this level here before continuing but you can clearly see usually they do a lot of retests right so if it comes in if there's a possibility of us giving a retracement even we have levels above here so just observe how price reacts right or if it comes and breaks aggressively above this area on a weekly test then you can continue with remember our target is this area that we got from there the hidden structure in the in the structure time frame right so those who trade V51S, I hope you can utilize this. Now, another one that uh, we're going to be looking at is V75. Now, V75, let me just clear this. Uh, uh, 
I'll just clear this so that we have a clean chart. Now, V75, you guys all know that it has it has broken all support levels, even the last support that we spoke about. It closed below it, right? So starting from monthly time from calculate, see we have this. And the next uh, uh level that we could be seeing of uh that could hold the price is this area here. Then also when you go to line chart, we have a hidden level that is around here. So we have marked it. So monthly, everything is still bearish. Now let's go to the structure time frame and see what structure that we have uh, uh, in front of us. So you can clearly observe that the market had closed below this uh, previous strong level that pushed it up. You can see I've marked it like this. And in case you didn't know, uh, uh, the, the week of synthetic starts on Sunday. So I'm recording this video on a Sunday. You can see the market broke down. Now we have come to retest here. So uh, there's a possibility the market is still going to continue lower, right? So here the market reacted on this hidden structure in weekly and then pushed it higher. So now if you break below on the retest, maybe continuing lower to come and test this uh, lower uh, previous high that the market made, right? So when we come down the weekly time frame, everything's aligning with monthly. So everything is still bearish. Also, if you want, you can mark, this is an impulse. If you can see it broke all this, this is a liquidity area. So unless if the market decides to break above retest, then it will be pushing higher. But currently everything is still bearish. Now let's go down to the daily time frame. What we observe in daily, everything is very, very clear. You can see strong level of support. Now it was broken, tested here broke down, this is a high now, the market has failed to take it out, right? So high probability still that we may continue lower. You can clearly see we have marked out our levels very nicely. So when something's aggressively dropping like this, what is of major uh, interest for us is the entry time frame. Now, if you come to entry time frame, very, very easy communication to see from the market. The market aggressive, retracement, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low and the market failed to take out that level. So we are breaking below. Though the personally with such markets where the market leaves untested levels, I usually want to see the market first testing all of them. If the market can come and test this level, then comes back with a weak momentum to test either this area here or this level that has broken with a weak momentum, then we can be taking a sell from here. If it is so aggressive and it breaks back above, we are still wait for a break, then a weak momentum, then we can continue with it above. So those who trade V75, uh, this is what we do have. Remember, we have, you've clearly seen that we have marked our level in bigger time frame. Very clean. There is no need for you to have a lot of things on your chart that will end up confusing you. So also another thing that we can look at is uh, V10. Um, just doing things that most people trade. Now V10, also this is analysis that we have been having. Those I interact with privately, you clearly know this. So I was following it up here. I don't trade it. Uh, but this year I've put it on my watch list because uh, sometimes uh, the trades that I trade, mostly v V75 and V51A, sometimes the setups are taking long. So I've decided to add a few things on my watch list and V10 is one of them. So I've been following it. So you can clearly see I was anticipating a, a sell and it has been dropping, making lower, low, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, right? So um, let me just clear everything just like we have done. Now, when we start from the daily time, from the monthly time frame, sorry, when we come from the monthly time frame here, what do we observe? We observe that the market had broken above a very crucial uh, area here. You see this area here? The market had broken above this level, right? But if you were to observe just slightly on your left, this market has been on a downtrend, making the market has been making lower low, lower high. These are equal lows here. And then lower low, lower high, equal lows lower low, then we had not tested this area. So meaning that the price had actually come to test this level. I spoke about it also. You can watch it on the YouTube uh, channel. I've been speaking about this a couple of times. So you can see the market broke above. First breakout came and retested this area properly. Then now it came, touched this area, made a lower high. So uh, what is of interest here is there's a possibility if the market again breaks here, we could be continuing more lower, right? Because the market is on a, uh, downtrend and this level just was not tested. So it's like I just come to test it. Let me just add another line here. This area, this is the area I'm talking about. So it's like the market had just come to, to test this level before it continues more lower, right? That's what I'm getting from monthly, right? So also we could have a small turning point here, which I'm just going to 
to mark using a different li uh, a line color. I'm just going to change it to red here. So then we'll go down the structure time frame where I get my structure that I trade. What does it show me? It shows me that actually the market was retesting this area with a weak momentum. So when it came and touched this area, at least the price should have broken these highs, but it failed to do that, right? So you can clearly see that the market uh, created an M, then plus hidden structures here. So the market reacted again to this level. First time here again, reacted to it here, again reacted like a couple of times, telling you that this level here is a previous strong area of resistance, which is now support. Now, the moment it is broken, right? On a weekly test, we could be seeing continuations. So the, when you saw, when I was starting to do the analysis, this push up is then which I was following up to come and sell it from this area. So I'm just going to go to the daily time frame. This move up here, this move up, right? Is that that you saw I was following up with, right? So let's observe also. Here, the market made an impulse, correction, then broke lower, retested it, broke lower, equal highs here, equal lows, then broke down. So meaning that the last high of ours was this one here. The market came and made a false breakout, broke down. Then now we're making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. So you can also still follow it up like that. Uh, I can mark another level here that the market would want to be interested in retesting uh, before we get interested. Let me just delete this, right? So you can see the market has made a low, lower high, low, lower high. So also we have that area there. Then also we have the this low here. Of course, we're expecting a major break. If the, the week breaks lower, it's okay. If it fails, then and breaks above, or especially this red line, then we could be utilizing a push higher. But we want the price to majorly break this area here so that we can continue lower, like I've showed you guys. Eh? So wait for that to happen if you want it to have a major shift, right? Because also this area can hold price. Remember, the week has just started today. So let's just go down to daily. We're going to do... Uh, not for holding, just a short-term uh, trading opportunity. So from here, there's a possibility the market may want to give us a retest into this area before maybe uh, coming to uh, this low here. Because this is a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. That's what I'm expecting. But also be uh, keen, if in case it retests and breaks aggressively, there's no need for you to start looking for a sell. That's why I want you guys to be independent. So when we adjust this area here uh, properly, you can clearly see that it's the same area. So let's observe if the market can give us a retest into this area. Watch how it is moving. You can clearly see this now, the market making lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. If it can give us another weak momentum retest like this one here, you can see these are weak momentum retests, right? If it can give us another weak momentum retest into this area, then we could be looking for a continuation lower like that. If it is aggressively breaking above, wait for it to break the last lower high on a weak retest, then we can. Uh, be looking for that opportunity. So those who trade uh, synthetic indices, uh, you can utilize this, right? I hope you guys uh, find value in it. Have a great time.